Guten Morgen! That is good morning in ye old German. If you didn't know. Yodale, yodale, yodale. I don't know what's really going on with the lighting, so you're just gonna have to sort of excuse it, get over it, build a bridge, walk over it. I don't know, babe, it's not that hard. It's actually such a random saying when people are like, build a bridge and get over it. Like, I don't think you actually realize how hard it is to build a bridge. How do they build bridges? That is a question for a BBC Panorama documentary. Are they like, floating in air? Because obviously, like, a bridge is in the air. Are they like attached at a crane? Are they a bungee jump? Doesn't really add up or make a lot of logistical sense in the terms of Isaac Newton's theory of gravity. Hey, I'm doing a drive with me, not a year 10 Spanish lesson. Spanish. <laughs> Well, I haven't even just woken up like I woke up like two hours ago But honestly for my brain to actually start functioning looking at 4 p.m Is the point of the day where I can actually form a human English sentence I haven't filmed like a drive with me drive with me for like over a year I think and like I used to do this all the time I also have a mouth ulcer today and I think mouth ulcers are up there with the top two Worst things in this world and let me tell you right now. It's not number two It's just a constant reminder of evil in this earth when you have a mouth ulcer You will go to eat something like ketchup and you'll just remember that you have it and it will uh, just ruin your day for the fourth time that day. There's no escaping it. Like, I like there constantly, and I sound like I've got a lisp when I have it in my mouth, and I feel like I can't even speak. This looks like a traffic jam, and that is not something that I was wanting to be a part of today. Not something that I voluntarily signed up to, like it's a society. I feel like I'm being forced into this. I didn't have much say. I think it's quite unfair that my thoughts, feelings, and emotions have not been involved when they formed this traffic jam today. Also, I hate October. I think we need to stop this discourse that October is the best month. Because let me tell you right now, if you say October is your favorite month of the year, I immediately do not like you. Don't come near me, because I'll other than Halloween, what is good about October? Tell me right now. Nights get shorter. It's longer even. It gets colder. There's nothing to look forward to other than the final day of month. And even then, Halloween is always the biggest letdown every single year. I never have my outfit plans. I'm never organized enough. I never even really have anything good to do. And if I go to a club, the one time I actually went to a club on Halloween, actually, I got punched in the face by a bouncer. So really, I just don't understand how you can say October is your favorite month of the year. And like, I get it if you're like in America. Like, I feel like America's taken quite seriously, but like the most we get here, if you go to a big Tesco superstore, you might get like a metallic pumpkin for three pound fifty in one of their aisles like that's the most that we're going out here understand how your favorite month can be october it's boring the only good thing that has come out of this month is adele's new song easy on me baby i was just a child <coughs> i love adele adele is life adele should be on the 20 pound note Someone's cut my break. Someone has it out for me. She is just everything and more that I want to be in my life. Oh my God, they're gonna arrest me for being too smexy. Wanted, smexiest man alive. What's everyone going as for Halloween this year? Because I need inspiration and I need it. No! Obviously, I want to do something good. I want to do something a little quirky, not like any of the other girls are doing. But like, it's impossible to think of. And it's like my mind, it cannot really think about too much things at once as it is. Never mind having to occupy different costume ideas. If anyone has an idea for me, please leave it in the comments down below. And don't be getting smart with me. Okay, stop right now. I'm watching you. And and, and don't be leaving Ratatouille in the comments. Be looking sexy and free like glitters raining on me. Where is Jessie J? Speaking of that, where is she? Last I heard, she was winning the Chinese X Factor, and I think us as a country as a whole has failed her completely. She really did community service, like she did charity work. She didn't have to come out and give us do it like a dude and price tag, but she did, and we ate it up. And where was the thanks we gave her? You know what? That's our own fault that another country now gets to experience her greatness and we don't get anything from her because we should have appreciated her when we had it. That's what the old fish tales wives once said you don't know what you have until it's gone. <laughs> Good luck, Charlie. I've got these like hospital slipper shoes. Okay, well, they're not hospital slipper shoes. I've picked up recently. I'm not so much a liar as such. I'm an over exaggerator. I'm an emphasizer. I would like to put my characteristic down to it me being a storyteller. When I tell a story, oh god, oh my god, oh my god. I just like to really entertain the listener of my stories. So if that means calling a 100 pound pair of shoes, I specifically sought out and bought a pair of hospital slippers. That 
is what I do to keep my audience engaged. If I'm coming to you with a story, take it with a pinch of salt. Because I almost 100% will have embellished the truth. Like, I just think I read too many Jacqueline Wilson books when I was younger. And let me tell you right now, those stories were a roller coaster. They were a ride of emotions from start to finish, cover to cover, babe. I should not have been reading them at the ripe age of nine years old because I think that's the reason why I've turned out the way I am. In fact, you know what? Jack, uh, she's a bit, uh, oh no, she is a sweet lady. I don't want to take a lawsuit out on her as such, but I would love to have a sit down converse, an open discussion, maybe an Oprah Winfrey interview like the Meghan Markle interview. And we can really delve into why Jacqueline Wilson felt it was appropriate to put all these traumas onto us and title it as a child's book. A child, fuck. Okay, God, stuttering on your words. Parts of those Jacqueline Wilson books could have been like a BBC One drama, like Virgil or Killing Eve or whatever those things are called. Like, they were intense, they were dark, they were deep. But you know what? Jacqueline Wilson was a real chick. She was preparing us for the real world because the real world isn't all cookies and sunshine. All these other books were fantasy and fairies and stuff. Jacqueline Wilson was preparing us girls to be going out there and being girl bosses. Oh my God, I love Jacqueline Wilson. Ah, sorry, <laughs> just got a little bit excited. What's going on, babe? Love a parking space. If anybody wants to give one up, I will offer you a free flash of my man tits. That's about all I've got to offer today. Um, maybe have a stale piece of gum in this car as well. I can chuck that in as a discount. I think, honestly, you lot are all being very selfish. And I think you need to have a hard, long look in the mirror about why you feel like it's appropriate to take up parking spaces on a Tuesday. It's given very much self-obsessed, self-important, not Madonna. You're not even the blessed Madonna. Who is the blessed Madonna? Is she a DJ? Because is she always comes out on like Spotify things and her songs are always so good and I'm like is this just Madonna? Maybe Madonna's been baptized and she's decided to come back into the limelight as a blessed Madonna. I don't know. That's something for researchers to get involved with, not me. I'm just here to look pretty and chat shit. Okay, there is literally not a single fucking space! Ah! Oh! So selfish! Oh my god, why is the sun now coming out? I can't deal with this weather. I don't care if you're gonna be cold, if you're gonna be hot, if you're gonna be lukewarm. Pick a temperature, Mother Nature. Like, pick one so I know what wardrobe to be buying. Because I'm buying coats, and then I'll go out, and it's like, oh my god, never mind a coat. I need to be putting on my Hawaiian Tropics SPF 15 tanning lotion. And then I'll go out in little shorts and flip-flops, and oh my god, I basically have frostbite because it's colder than a polar bear's asshole. Like, just pick one. Sneaky. They're very sneaky, these traffic lights. They'll be green, and then you charge for it, and then it will quickly be orange red it's like the bleep test you know when you have to make it back and forth in school that surely a method of torture like why was that in school i think ofsted needs to come do you remember how big of a deal it was in school when it was like an ofsted day the way those teachers made us prepare for those ofsted inspections like we were auditioning for x factor in its peak of 2010 we were in rehearsal it was like five six seven eight and smile and smile someone put their hand up ask an intelligible question please i always thought i'm like babes mm, babes we are being inspected then we should not be putting on a like full 90 minute west end show of how we're supposed to be acting i don't know why i'm driving down the exact same street as i did before expecting like a parking space to just magically appear and the lion with the witch in the wardrobe where i'm gonna drive into the wardrobe and it's gonna be expanding into some multi-story car park oh oh how? That Mercedes bitch just took a space. Oh my god, if I was two minutes quicker, I would have had a space right now. This is why I never trusted those bitches in school who said slow and steady win the race. In what world is slow and steady winning the race? If I'm in the 100 meters at the Olympics and I start walking, I'm not winning gold, babe. Mm. You guys, I got some steamy, creamy bubble. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna eat these and I'll ask you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, then you're a loser! Jokes, jokes, jokes. But you will be a loser if you don't follow me today. Oh my god, I'm sweating in this car. There is too much salad in this world, full stop. Now, I have a debate for you guys. I consider myself to not be a picky eater in the slightest. However, people have started saying that because I pick my salad out my burgers and sandwiches, I'm a picky eater. False. That is a false narrative people are trying to spread to demise my character. That's not the word. Def deflame? Defect? Mm. I know my character and I know I'm not a picky eater. I can still eat a sandwich or burger with salad in, but why would I do it if I prefer the taste without it? Do you know what I mean? Tips on not giving a fuck. Honestly, bake it till you make it. Like, when I was probably the most self conscious I ever was, I was like, I don't care, blah, 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 blah. And now I feel like I'm less like that because I'm more actually don't give a 
hoo-ha. I feel like people who actually do give a uh act like they don't until the point where they do. Do you know what I mean? But also at the same time, I don't actually think it's healthy to not actually give a fuck. I feel like I'm more aware now like of healthfully like digesting what people think of me. Any advice if you're moving to London and not knowing any friends though? I don't know if this would make me sound like a loser. I would just go clubbing on my own and just sort of try and make friends. I've lost my friends. Oh my god, would you guys mind hung with you for a bit? Thoughts on Courtney, Travis Scott? Honestly, if it's not Kylie and Kim, I don't really care about the Kardashians. I was never really that big of a fan with them to begin with anyway. Like, I love Kylie, love Kim, keep up to date with them. But the others I don't really care for too much. I'm happy for Courtney because I always believed Courtney and Scott were not right for each other. These questions, you lot are all asking the same type of question. And I don't know how you know. You lot must be so nosy to know that. <laughs> What is your ex? Oh my god, controversial opinion again. I don't believe ex exists. I don't know. I've only gotten the ick once, and that was when I found out that someone who I was seeing took hair product to a party in their pocket. Which sounds so dumb, but I also think I just wasn't that interested to begin with, which is why I got the ick. Do you know what I mean? I just don't believe ick's are a thing. Where would you want to live if you could live anywhere in the world? I probably still would live in London. I love London. Most embarrassing drunk story. Um, one time I got so drunk, I got kicked out of a club, and the bouncer convinced me that he ran the Shade Borough, and I believed it. And I was like, asking him all these questions about the Shade Borough, and he was just some random guy, like, playing with me. Most iconic hair so far. I don't want to go back to the shaved head. It came up on my Snapchat the other day, and I was like, hmm, when it was shaved, shaved, I kind of miss it. But when it goes back, it's kind of ugly, so I probably won't. Would you ever go on a reality TV show? Okay, you've clearly never watched my channel before, because of course, last person you texted, what was it? It was my mother saying, not too much going on today. So that's very interesting. That's the interesting life that I live. Live. <laughs> That's the interesting life that I live. Do you like living alone? Um, yes and no. I don't, I really can't decide. I do, like, the only reason why is, like, I wish I lived on my own now, but not before. Because now I'm, like, at this age where, like, I feel like I should be living on my own. I never did live with someone when I was younger, and I'm, like, I missed out on that. Like, oh, I remember when I lived with this person and that person, and, like, I never had that. Fucking questions, you lot. These <laughs> questions. Okay, I feel like I've answered all the questions. But! I hope you guys enjoyed this. I wanted to drive with me more. I just always forget that they're like a video. Do you know what I mean? Like, I should do them more. Maybe I should get a guest on because I always meant to get guests on these, but I never did. Anyway, I'll see you guys very soon for a brand new video. Bye!